You know what time it is. It's time to slay the spire. Oh. Oh, yes. Oh, yes, I remember. This is not a true victory. It's a secret defeat. Because as you see, there's no fourth floor. Fourth act. I forgot to grab the goddamn key. I got two of them. Third one eluded me. And by eluded, I mean it was like right there. Right there for me to grab. And then I napped instead. And then I went to the next floor. And immediately regretted it. And then I went through the two act three bosses without taking any damage. So like... Not only was the nap useless, but it was like double useless. Because it uh, stopped me from getting the key, so... That was fun. We got shenanigans or upgraded card. No shenanigans, no shenanigans, no shenanigans, no shenanigans, no shenanigans. All right. So it looks like we're upgrading a card no matter what. Oof. Ugh. Eh. Fucking gross, yo. Can I, uh, get a path that isn't dog farts? Nah. Nah, bruh. It's all dog farts. Mm. I mean, with a card upgrade, it's kind of like getting an extra bonfire. It's kind of like getting an extra bonfire and also losing a whale bonus. <laughs> Not really like getting an extra bonfire. It's like trading a bonfire for 7 max health or a random common relic. Not great. Where do I want to go? I think I want to go this way. And then we'll figure out where to go from there. There's a lot of hallway fights on this act. Hey, Skyzo. Thank you very much. I'll do what I can. Do I need to bash again? No. No, I do not. We got 18 damage sitting right here. Okay. Easy pazizi. I think if we were fighting Slime Tony, I might take cleave. Yeah. Yeah. It happens. And by it happens, I mean... I literally haven't done that for, like, six months. A merchant. Be smerchant the merchant. Um, I haven't added a card, have I? I'm going through two more hallway fights. Oh shit, I was supposed to go this way. Because I'd have more gold. Whoops. I think I have to grab a potion. Because we just got a potion from here, so now this is like a 20% chance. And then if we don't get a potion here, it goes back up to a 30% chance that we get a potion here. So, pretty likely not getting another potion. And we're trying to fight two elites on one bonfire, so... Yeah. I think the potion's what I'm gonna need. Smells like blocking. Mm-mm-mm. Delish. Fuck. Ah, oh, shit, dude. Yeah. Hmm. Looks like I take eight. You're still attacking, are you? Fantastic. Really wonderful news. I'm glad for you. Ha! Oh, stop. Seventeen damage from slimes. He, he attacks every turn. I 
I just like need to put an attack in the deck. All right. Guess I'll take the cleave. It's not fantastic, but it's not the worst. It might be good if we fight uh, quad slimes or quintuple gremlins. Excuse me. I can't kill him from 23 next turn. Can I? No. Which means I have to do this. There. Fuck, these are bad. Am I taking Wild Strike? Yikes. I think I'm gonna need the health. Okay, I don't really need the gold. Yeah. I need to get strikes out of this deck. I get a nap here. And we lean on the bash upgrade? Alright. Not the turn one I was looking for. Here we go. That inflame was basically a strength pot. You gotta be shitting me. You gotta be shitting me. Good fight. Well, wasted that power potion. Okay, uh, feed's pretty good. About to become weak. Ooh. So if I hit this guy, it's still gonna take three strikes. But I've got a cleave, that might help. Yeah, because the cleave will hit for six. Hello, hello. Smiling Mask really isn't the kind of relic I was looking for. Die. Wanted something with uh, a bit more impact, you know? Uh, Art of War might do something eventually. Maybe. Found on my block. I don't want to hit him because I want to be able to feed. Feed off the top. Eight damage. For three max health, I'll take it. Feed off the top, feed off the top, feed. Three max health for 11 damage. Well, I mean, I have to be getting feed now. These are good. Hmm. Hmm. Suddenly I'm being offered a bunch of good cards all at once. Why couldn't you guys have been spread out throughout, like, the first three card offers? I could have one of each of you in my deck right now. Anger, Schmanger. Schmanger. I think Disarm. Really good against Hexaghost. I'm gonna go this way. Okay, I'm about to be made weak. He's still vulnerable. Hmm, interesting. Shit. 
With three strength. And three strikes will kill. 13. Does Bash Strike kill? I think so. I think that's 13 plus 13, right? Perfect. Rampage Headbutt. I think I want Headbutt because Feed and because Spot Weakness. Okay, okay. Alright, so this is where we use the regen pot. Disarm's not particularly good here. Spot weakness is great, though. Hmm, yeah, feeding might be difficult. Want to headbutt spot weakness? Oh, actually... I can just feed right now. Alright, cool. We're at 10 damage instead of 5. I like it. Ooh, the cleave. That wild strike is gonna hit for 18. Yeah, alright. Guarantee that this one dies next turn. I might actually finish this fight before the potion's up. Okay, got a chance of killing this one too. Nope. I'll just take 10, no biggie. Let's take out my one health back. It's a little late for Molten Egg to be particularly good. I think I like Shockwave quite a lot. Hello. Hmm. Hmm. Mmm. This could be bad. Possible I should have used my block potion there. Uh, hold up. I know it's overblocked, but it's fine. Oh, wait, no, I can kill this one. Just give me bash. It doesn't really matter. Another two damage. Not that bad. Nap or not to nap? I've got to disarm. Got a spot weakness, I've got a headbutt, I've got a shockwave. I think it's a feed upgrade. Though I might not necess excuse me, necessarily be able to feed in this fight. Good time for that one. I'm not gonna wild strike quite yet. Is he blocking? No, he attacks twice in a row, right? Oh, I could just do it now. Yeah, that works. Yeah. And then he blocks. Oh, no. Okay. Three times in a row. Yeah, I need to start cranking out the damage. There was an Evolve I could have grabbed. Okay, perfect. No longer weak, though. It's fine. This one's gonna hurt. Our damage is doing pretty well on him, though. Ooh, um, mm. This could be bad. I don't think I can deal 82 damage in one turn. 
If I weaken him, what does he go down to? He goes down to 18? Oh, I'm dead? Seem pretty dead. I got like 50 damage. Cool. Maybe I should have napped. Maybe I should have napped. Had that feed greed going though. That extra 10 damage I took against the sentries right at the end probably didn't help very much. Oh well, it was a pretty hard axe path anyway. It was not crazy likely we were getting out of there. Thank you very much, Jam. Although I'm not sure how many people how many people in chat actually understand that reference. If um if you're around if you're around for Christmas, then well, you'll get to see something special. Greetings, Space Raz Jr. We are climbing. The tower? The spire. That is the intention, yes. Uh, what am I doing? Health or... Shenanaland? No shenanigans. Possible shenanigans. No shenanigan. Okay, so the only way to get a shenanigan is to go this way. And then what? I can go here. Uh, no. I can go this way. Uh, wow. These suck. How do I get just like a regular two elite two bonfire thing going? That's just not happening. It's just not happening. It's just not happening. We have to fight the super elite. Hmm. Hmm. Or I have to do this, which is. I could like do that, but still, there's only one bonfire. I think I'm taking a shenanigan and going to fight a super elite. Yeah, I'll take a floor one flying eat. We're also, of course, fighting Slime Tony. It's always got to be Slime Tony. If you're doing a silent run, and you don't get a proper nail bonus, let's just slap the big boy right on the top. This big ugly mug on the top of the map. What could go wrong? Oh! Uh! Well, at this point, I just have to. Well, I don't anticipate this run is going very far. Yeah, we might manage. I got to pull Runic Dodecahedron out of the Relic Pool, so now I can't get it in the future. Oh, baby, tiny chest. I'm gonna take the dagger spray because, uh, Slime Tony? No! Yeah! There we go, I like that. We're angering the mushrooms, baby. I can use this ancient pot here to prevent the vulnerable. I think I shall. It only prevents it one time, obviously, but still. Better than nothing. And now maybe you're buffing? Cool. 
Oh, you're both about to have strength. That's no cool. Oh, this is gonna... this is gonna be bad. This... yeah, I can't kill both of you. So I get to take a uh, nice six damage here. I mean, six damage from triple rats is not that bad. Here we go, see you later. Oh, especially because we get me bonus. End of that fight with six extra health. These are good cards. How's my damage? Taking the piercing whale. Am I napping? Or am I, like, really playing the meat game? I think we might have to play the meat game. I think I have to upgrade dagger spray. In case this is Lagavulin. Or sentry. Wait. No, no, no the first one was Lagavulin. Well, hello there. I was kind of hoping this one would be the third one, but whatever. So I've got to do a hard hallway fight soon. These cards are no good. I was just like, wait a minute. I've got well eight plans. I should just hold on to these. Oh, Farticus. I keep holding that piercing whale until it's good. Cool, he died. Yes! No! Lies! Um, 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 um. I can probably kill one of these. Oh, I can totally kill one of these. Yeah, die. Nice. Okay, two damage, not the worst. Actually, if I can take seven more damage, that would be fantastic. Because 33, yeah, 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 I'll actually gain a little bit of health. Perfect. Thank you, little louse. Nice. Gain three health. Quick slash. Quick slash, suck attack. I'm gonna take another dagger spray. It seemed to work out pretty well last time we had to fight Slime Tony. It's the big boy. He's gonna fuck me in the dick. With his big stupid club. It's gonna suck. His hand makes me wanna die. Okie dokie. Why was he only hitting me for 22? What? Am I crazy or was he actually only hitting me for 22 there? Instead of 24. For reasons that are not at all clear to me. Ah! You're correct, JMM. The mushroom has blessed me. I've been blessed by Shroom. Shroom. I likely are we to kill him next turn. Kind of? Kind of likely. In fact, actually, well, there is a hand that cannot that uh Yeah, if I draw if I draw all three defends and survivor, then a single attack. No single attack. Oh wait, he has 15 health. I thought he had 10 health. Okay, actually there are a couple combinations of two attacks that can't do it either. Like, double strike or neutralize strike. Really neutralizing anything. Hmm. Going for it. I got to basically block for five there. Neat. Kill him, kill him, kill him, kill him. Yeet. Get out of here. Predator? Predator? Alright, well, time to die. <laughs> this was fun. I have 39 health. My potions are not great. 
Oh, we'll see. Oh, good. Oh, good. I only get one block card on the turn I was planning to, like, speed potion. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Because in the future, when I'm going to want to speed potion a bunch of damage, I'm going to have, like, three slimes, a dagger spray, and a defend in my hand. And it'll be pretty bad there, too. That's majestic. Hmm. Neutralize on the bottom. I've never heard that one before. Split him right now. Oh, boy. I got a... Yeah. 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 I don't think this deck can handle having five slimes in it. about to become frail. Yeah, okay. I should have just used the survivor. This is what the piercing whale is for. I die still. Yep. Unless by some magic. No. I mean, it didn't matter who I split. I was still... Lethal was still being done to me. You are slain! This fire consumes another. Thank you very much, JMM. I don't I don't remember if I've ever asked, but is JMM supposed to stand for something? Like Jingle Mary Marmalade or Joseph Mega Man? Does it? Nobody tell JMM, but I don't think he knows how to spell. Anyway, where were we? 100 gold or more than 100 gold. An exchange for darkness visited upon my deck. Uh, uh, ooh, well, hmm. It's not terrible. <laughs> None of those words start with any of those letters. I don't understand. Yeah, I don't see anything better than just like snaking up the right side. Hundo gold? Yeah, there's not a shop until, like, there, so I don't think I want to take a curse. Give me the big bucks. The bonus dollarinos, please. I'd like, uh, the lottery, please. Just hand, just... I'll take it right here. Just all the winnings. Survive lethal. No! Fuck. I'm, I had one short of lethal. Die. I took what, two damage there? These are cards? Hmm. A stunning observation. I want barrage. I'll take a barrage. And just assume I find like two or three more orb generating cards. That barrage just becomes a not crap card. Hmm. Hmm. I needed you to hit the same target. You hit two different targets. <laughs> Retirement investment strategy was lo exactly. You just go to the lottery building USA and say hello. I'd like the lottery, and they give it to you. I don't know, I don't know what everyone else is doing with, like, tickets and all this other nonsense. Let's go to Lottery Building USA. Press the lottery, they'll give it to you. That's what the lottery's for. That's 100% how the lottery works. Huh. 
These cards don't generate orbs. That's cool. I'm gonna take the bug. I sure have only added one kind of bad attack to the deck, haven't I? Maybe I buy the on sale compile driver. Ugh. Yeah, right. I'm really waiting for the day that this barrage becomes better than strike instead of worse. I have a feeling I might be waiting a while. I'm gonna draw Zap and not be able to play it! I didn't even get to finish saying it before it came true. And then it came true. Too many fucking potions. Melter. I think I like Melter. I've taken Rip and Tear before, and I just keep getting burned on the, the random. I do love the art. The art's great. I love the Doom reference. But... Melter also has, like, a bit of utility elsewhere. I'm gonna upgrade Zep. This deck is not the greatest. It's, uh... It's gonna need some juice real soon. Wait. God damn it. It's fucking shop. Fuck! Ah! Should've just not spent anything. Bought a nearly do-nothing compile driver. Cool. Hey, Barrage does something. Weird. So, this is the last time you get to attack me. Except I lied, it's not. You don't get to attack me. You win. I mean, I win. You die. Steam Barrier? Yeah, sure. Aha! This time I've got a tiny mouse friend. These are still bad. Yep. Yep. Now I'll card remove. I saved 15 gold. I saved 15 gold not doing that card remove earlier. It all adds up. It'll all come together. Hmm. 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 This is gonna be a hard one. Yep. I knew it's using my brain. Compile driver and just hope to draw a zap. What if I draw a genetic algorithm? That'll be sad. Mm. I don't want sadness. Sadness ain't what I'm about. I'm apparently about taking 11 damage. Well, I get to play the genetic algorithm. So there's that. The power of my algorithm grows. Do I want an all for one? No. Rip Steam Barrier and Zap. Oh, do I need a white noise? How on earth is this deck beating? Big Boy? Blade Boy? Hmm. White noise is pretty bad against Awakened One. Or not Awakened One. Uh, well, Awakened One. Gremlin Knob. That was the phrase. That my brain wanted to say. Why on earth did I play Barrage over Strike? There sure are skills in this hand. I tell you what. Okay, well we've got some pretty good potions. I think I like this one. Really need him dead. Like next turn? How likely is that? I play another zap and I draw a dual cast. 
It's like 25 damage by itself. Which means I should just like... I don't want a weakness potion if I... the plan is to kill him next turn, because then I only... You know... How much... how much health would I save? 10? Also die. Yeah. You can save a lot more health with a weak potion. Happy Flower is pretty good. Ah, uh, boy. I sure didn't see any other cards that generated orbs or anything for Brock and Kunai. I guess I upgrade Barrage. Yeah, none of the none of the game plans that I've been offered are really coming together. Which, uh, hmm. Could be bad. Another eight. I have not proc Kunai once. Just hasn't happened. Oh, goodbye. Goodbye. Chill. It makes orbs. It makes barrage better and it makes compile driver better. 35 health, two reasonable potions. Hmm. Melter would have been better next turn. Got that kunai proc, though. This one's gonna hurt. No, I don't want a genetic algorithm here. Got another kunai proc too. That's certainly gonna help. If I were to ever draw block, that is. <laughs> Ugh. All right, that's a uh, full block. We're cool. Jesus. Yep, it's all down there. On the plus side, hiya. I only have to take two damage. And a algorithm save me. Okay. Not too bad. To three dexterity, I just have to draw a block when he's in ball mode. The steam barrier is actually staying the same. Yeah, I'll keep playing it. That's fine. Ugh. Okay. I don't want to take too many more t hits. You know, even if it's for like two or four, you know, that all ends up adding up. Nine, baby. Put him on the magic number. That's how he knows his days are numbered. Dexterity number four. Um, do this. Nice. Get three damage in. Oh, this lets me actually just hit him. And he's dead. Okay, cool. That was close. Got kind of unlucky on turn two. Alrighty. Echo form. Becomes easier to proc kunai if I can double some of my attacks. It's a double stack genetic algorithm. Yeah, yeah, it does. Uh, like you play Steam Barrier and your block goes, the block on it goes down. But if you gain dexterity, then the block on it goes up. I had, I had a run a while ago, 
where despite like repeatedly playing steam barriers in a fight i had i had such a good kunai deck on defect that like the steam barriers were going up not down i've done that on silent too with a wraith form in play i think i've done it with two wraith forms in play it was uh it was an insane deck it it had like two copies of infinite blades and then like cloak and daggers and runic pyramid and like Oh, no, 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 not rid of here. No, it had dead branch. So it just kind of went insane. Anyway, we're taking echo form because it's a good card. Velvet choker, velvet choker, velvet choker, velvet choker. Oh, velvet choker. Doris box is cute. I'm taking velvet choker though. Okay, so we got a flower, a choker, a kunai. We got all pretty reasonably good relics out of act one. Can't complain. How good is this deck at dealing with Act 2? Hmm. It's kind of bad. Sort of exactly, exactly. Oh, oh lord. God. I didn't get a chance to go get groceries on Saturday. So by the time Monday rolled around, I need food. Pizza Hut had their 555 deal, and I was just like, shit. I'm gonna put carbs back in my body again, and I'm gonna be tired for another week. And that's where we're at. Because I found, I've managed, I've managed, like, the, the amount of times I, like, relapse into consuming carbs is, like, getting shorter and shorter and shorter, and the amount of, like, carb-free time is getting longer and longer. And it's working out pretty well for me. So, I'll get there. One day, eventually, I'll just get to the point where it's like, boom. No more carbs forever. No, I really don't. I fi No, I find I really don't. Once I managed, once I figured out a way to get carbs out of my breakfast. Because I knew I wanted the peanut butter in the breakfast. Because, like, the, the fat and protein in the morning was being super helpful. And it keeps me full. But I was like, what? It's like... So I can't put it on bread, because that's carbs. So I tried celery for a while, but I found celery just, like, took too long to prepare and was, like, messy. Just, like, hard to consistently get the peanut butter, like, in the celery without also getting it all over my hands and all over the plate. And it was just like, eh. So eventually I just, um... I just re relinquished the idea of putting peanut butter on anything. And I just, like, put peanut butter and blueberries into a bowl. And I'm like, I'm eating this. On top of uh, a little dish of cottage cheese. And a glass of milk. So, that's what I've been going with. And then usually either burgers with a lettuce bun or chicken and eggs for dinner. Anyway, I think we're going up this way. I don't have a ton of money for this shop, but I also have a courier. When you forget to buy food two days. Uh, even then, that's not technically true. I don't live a super far way from a grocery store. But, like... It's far enough, and the fact that I don't have a vehicle, and I'm up the hill from it, which means I have to travel uphill when I have the groceries. It's downhill without the groceries, so it's just like, fuck. I could have done better. And I also could have just had... Actually, I'm not sure I have enough chicken for chicken and eggs. Twice at this point. I'm waiting for chicken to go on sale. Or I could have just walked out to A and W and just bought one thing. Bought some A and W for breakfast, and then chicken and eggs for dinner, instead of because for the five 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 deal to be worth to be really worth it, you have to really get all three of the medium pizzas. Let's bring the courier. <laughs> Gotta have that chicken, man. See, the problem, the problem is the courier doesn't actually carry things. He just makes them cheaper. Because he's a mouse? So... I mean, if you look at the relics... Um, that you get in this game, most of them would be small items that perhaps... A sturdy mouse could carry. Maybe not a potted... Maybe if the... Maybe this is a really tiny pot. 
with a really tiny I don't know it looks like a sunflower so that's like that's too big for a mouse but a kunai a tiny little preserved insect a very large mouse I'm gonna get melted, bitch. I think I'm willing to take two damage here. Oh. I also. Oh, no, I couldn't have. Yeah, that wouldn't have worked. Double, 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 double. Yeah, how'd you like me now, bitch? Blocked for 32. There are like nine days in the deck. Nine days in my seven card deck. Aw ye, aw ye, aw ye, aw ye. Aw ye. Aw ye. Gonna draw. Nothing but days. Sabotage. No fucking runs. Whatever that one card is, I'm gonna get to play it. Oh, baby. Uh, die? Three Gyrias to make himself so swole he can invert gravity with his biceps. Then he'll be going up the hill with only the force of his ungodly biceps. Like, not even my legs? I'll have all... I'll, I'll have all my le all my groceries carried in one arm, and I'll just like hop on the other arm. My legs will become vestigial. Hologram's pretty good. What is it good for here? It gets me zap. Gets me steam barrier. Gets me undoubled genetic algorithm. Barrage. It can get me things in the future, though. Future. Future things. Well, I mean, there's just a defrag here, so... I'm gonna buy that. Man, I watched, uh... I watched the new Steven Universe movie twice last night. And I can't get the opening song out of my head. Wouldn't skip leg day. I think I wouldn't do leg day. I think I'd do it differently. Just do everything every day. Every day's leg day. Just less of it. I don't understand the point in like separating it out like that. Yep, that's how I'm blocking. Okay. I'm frail, but I'm also doubled. Cool, full blocked. Oh, hey, Melter! Wah! Wah! Die? Cool, good fight. I don't want any of these. There are two strikes left in the deck. Um, getting Jax doesn't seem worthwhile. Special Relic doesn't seem super cool. I accept! Oh! Well, hello. I... Hmm. This might just be lose 7 HP. Fuck. The plan was to upgrade Defrag here. I don't think I'm doing that. Oh, there are two Defrags. Damn you! Damn you, Knowing Skull! Normally I love you. Normally you're great. But I don't... I don't want your riches. <sighs> Good to know. I'm Vox. <sighs> I guess I'm napping. I have one potion. Um, it's pretty rare. I have a document that has like the rarities, the the weights of all the different events. I believe the heaviest weighted events are the various shrines. So like duplicate card shrine, transform card shrine, remove card shrine. I believe those individually have the highest weights. And then like Certain enemies also have higher weights. Like, I believe... Once you hit the hard pool in Act 2... I believe Snake Plant... 
has a weight of 2, whereas, like, all the other fights have a weight of 1. And I think Sneko has a weight of, like, 1.2. Thwack? How much rare did Thwack? Wait, what's Thwack? Is Thwack the Coliseum event? Like, it's weighted, so... The, the number... The number given, um... Is basically... So, let, let's pretend there are five different events that you can get in Act 2. Let's just pretend for, for the sake of this. If they all have weight 1, that means they're all equally likely. Um... So, like, you'd pick a number between 1 and 5. If one of these events has weight 2, now you're picking a number between 1 and 6, and two of those numbers will give you that number with two weight. Um, it's like weigh weighing the odds sort of thing. Yeah. I'd have to- I haven't actually checked the document in quite a long time. So I could be misremembering, but I'm pretty sure I'm pretty sure like Snake Plant is just like oddly high highly weighted for the Act 2 enemies. So it's like you're almost always gonna run into Snake Plant. Assuming you're going to that many Hawaii fights. I'm actually only going to four, so I might not. Well, yeah. Because the first two are pulled from the easy pool, which can't give you Snake Plant. Anyway, we've gotta fight some idiots. Excuse me. Hmm. Yeah, I guess I'll play buffer. Take eight. Oh, yeah! I didn't even pray to Iron Jesus for that one. Yeah. Yeah! Yeah! Alright, so now I just need to make sure I get the double genetic. Oh, whoops. Right. I'm a dummy. I'm gonna, I'm gonna punch him. I'm just gonna punch him. Just so he's dead. Okay, well, I would have preferred having that frost orb around. Hey! Turns out it doesn't matter. Let's kill this guy. Learning the heuristics of this game. Yeah. Same. Like, I know a lot of stuff, but there's also a lot of stuff that I could know better than I do. Do I want another compile driver? I kind of don't want more attacks in this deck. Well, then again, I did just remove both my strikes. So maybe compile drivers is kind of what the doctor ordered. Some card draw. Hit dudes. I'm not going to get to upgrade either of these defrags. Am I? I mean, I got a data disc, which is kind of like having an upgraded defrag. I think Vajra's probably fine. I think... Is Courier common? I don't think Courier is common. This is mostly common relics, which I guess makes sense. Considering that's... You'd expect it to be mostly common relics, which is why they're common. Hmm... I don't think I'm making it out of this act. I just don't see that happening. Too much damage every day. Holy shit, a moly. Fuck. Dazes, dazes all the time! How many dazes are in this? Like, six. Alright, well, at least he's not attacking me. It's always dazes. We got two stacks of buffer. That should help. Also, this. Oh, yeah, hit. Give me that double. Give me that double. Ah, fuck. No double attack? Oh, baby. I think I'm just gonna skip here. Okay. No double? Okay. We got a double. 
That's fine, because I win. Oh, maybe I don't win. No, I win. Yeah, self-repair or, like, meat on the bone would be super handy. I want to leap. Yeah, I feel like I need something with just a larger number on it that blocks. Oh, God. Oh. Yeah, fuck it. Let's play. Play the buffer here. I got the energy. I'm not doing anything else with it. This could prevent a lot of damage. As much as I'd like to double it up. Yeesh. What am I doing? Should have played the chill first. Eight. Eight plus eight, sixteen. Yeah. Get just enough to block the first hit. And then buffer blocks the second one. Hmm. Hmm. It's gonna be a while before I get to double this defrag. I already have full block, so... Hmm. Might have been an... I should have looked at what was in my drop pile. I did not need that much block. I also have no more source of frost orbs after that chill was gone. Dang it. Playing more cards than I thought I would be able to. Kill him. Cool. Oh yeah, give me that melter, baby. Okay, that wasn't too bad. I think I took two damage. Could have just melted. Double sunder. Double Sunder. That's fine, we're fine, we'll be fine. Everything's fine. Hmm. Um. Cool. It's exactly 14 block height. I'll take it. How much can I block here? 14... 20? Oh. I actually don't need to genetic algorithm here at all. Howdy, Iggy. Okay, we'll wait on it then. It's a buffer down there. Shit. Didn't draw it. Thank you very much, Live High. Yeah, wow, that was really easy to play six cards. Cool, buffer blocked for one. Okay, I think we're good. Die. 
Hmm. Hmm. Yeah, all right. Deck just got a lot better. Really need frost doors. We're fighting collector, right? No. I really need a persistent source of frost orbs. Oh boy. Avocado and his tiny furry friend. Ray Avocado. Oh, I didn't even play the genetic algorithm last fight, did I? Hmm. Eighteen, seven. I'm already full blocking this. I'm gonna melter this guy. Okay. So far, so good. We got Echo Form in play. Haven't taken damage. This thing has to die. He's gonna start being nasty. Fifteen. Cool. Okay, two damage. Not the worst. Ooh, again? Really? Welp. Out of frost. Focus is going down. Oh, there's still a buffer in here? Let me double that. No. How about force field? There are five powers in the deck, and if I get, like, echo form and a double on one of these, that reduces it down to, like, one. I... Hmm, I don't know how I'm beating this guy. Kunai Prox? Kunai Prox. That seems unlikely. I'm gonna have to try to double every single power. They're gonna take my Echo Form. Yep, one of them is. I don't know which one. But it's gonna be one of them. I need to try to save the buffer for Hyper Beam. Okay, so the one on the right. Oh boy. Here, let's do that. I don't want to compile driver into some of the powers I'm going to want to double. He's about to hyper beam, right? Been a bit more careful about that. Fuck. If I didn't have the genetic algorithm here, if both buffer and genetic algorithm were still in the draw pile, I'd feel a bit safer. But they're not, so I don't. I think we gotta go for it. I'm gonna... Please, just please, just darn Jesus, let me draw that buffer. It's slightly more like... Oh, baby! Okay. Got a buffer stack. Here we go. Double that defrag for me. Power grows. 
Um, yeah, it smells like blocking. Thank you very much, Tunnel Jumper. I don't want to compile drive. Actually, you know what? I will. Just because I don't want a genetic algorithm next turn anyway. I would want it the turn after next. Uh, double bias? Double bias? Double bias? Yeah, I think so. Need to start really slamming them. I double D frag. Yeah, 15. 25. No. Okay, uh, yeah, 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 no. Double genetic here. Because that way, if I don't have enough bu block, this other buffer stack will survive for his other hyper beam. So I'm not going to play the zap. No, I am going to play the zap. Because I just need to kill him as fast as possible at this point. Turns out he was actually, like, dying really hard. Don't know about two bias cards. Yeah, dude, sure. Oh. I think I'm taking Frozen Core because I desperately need Frost Orbs. I don't need five energy that bad. Thank you very much for the sub, Ultra Atma. I don't have a clever thing to say for subs. <laughs> like I do with uh, follows, because it's it's just screaming. I can, I can give you the garnet thumbs up, though. I don't have any sunglasses. Rip. But, um... You have a fave episode? Well, you haven't seen them all yet. So who knows? Thank you very much. And now, you get the privilege of posting... Our Lord and Savior, the Great Garve. Oh, uh, Tiger Millionaire? Tiger Millionaire is a pretty good one. I'm not I'm not gonna sing you a Steven Universe song. <laughs> Thank you very much. Cause uh so you're still like in season one, right, Iggy? That's a... Uh... Garf gives you a Garfield quote. Quote gives you a me quote. Turns out that quote for me happened to be about Garfield, so... It all worked. Wait, what do you mean you see random episodes? I mean, that kind of works for, like, the first chunk, but then after you kind of got to watch them in order after that. It becomes a lot more of a overarching thing. Thank you very much, Live High. We're in Act 3. This happened. How did this happen? Uh, probably somewhere around here. I think these two probably did a thing. I uh, this force field didn't do a damn thing. Alright, we gotta fight the bigger boy. I have some money. Neat. Oof. Ah. Ooh. Well, I have I have to go through him, which means I may as well get the bonfire, then the shop, and then the big boy. Cool. Did I just pick the wrong node? Yep. Cool. Love me some hallway fights. I don't have any fucking orbs. Disappointed? Disappointed. Oh! Orb magic! Ow, my body! 12 damage, turn one. Disappointed! Thank you very much, Live High. Okay, he's about to gain strength and wallet me even harder.
24, 29. I believe that full blocks. Oh, right. I actually don't think I needed to steam barrier there. Hello, hello, hello. That gets me full block. Oh, this idiot's still alive. I never killed him. Hmm. 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 Slam his jams. Cool. Yeah, dual cast has become much better now with the frozen core because I get to I get to get the block from evoking a frost orb twice, and then I get the frost orb back. And you get the block from it that turn. Time for pouching. It's like go insane. Insanity manity! <laughs> I don't know. That probably doesn't. It's probably not what a manity sounds like, but eh, fuck if I know. I'm not a manity doctor. I'm not a scientician. <laughs> Need to make sure I do this right. Alright, we didn't get the double, but we got to single the genetic algorithm. Do I want to recycle? No. We're already tr triggering Velvet Choker relatively frequently. Recycle would just like... we'd, we'd it, It'd be choking us. We'd be getting choked. We want a Ball Lightning Plus. No. Oh, this is gonna be annoying. I I could trigger it more. I don't know that I want to. That does not seem particularly valuable or productive. I just straight up hard cast force field for four. It's because this uh, the deck wasn't doing anything else. Hey, yeah. Gonna take some damage? Uh, no. No, I'm not. Thanks, Frozen Core. Frozen Core is like being a total bro. Um, speaking of bros. Ew. Hold up. If I play Echo Form, what do I get? I get 16. There's a chance that this Lightning Orb hits it. I get 16 block, plus 50. Oh, that already just full blocks. Don't even need the steam barrier. Yeah, explode at me. See what I care. Ow, my bone. Okay, so now I just need to, like, get a lightning orb up and just let it slowly kill him to death. This deck is missing a calipers. Let me tell you. Can I like draw something that does damage? Thank you. Yeah, we're not we're not gonna barrage this this one. Oh, hold up. No, since that one didn't double, it'll double this one. Haha. -ha! I mean, I don't have calipers, so getting all this extra block doesn't really do anything. Twenty, so I can hit him one time. I cannot wait. Fuck, Velvet Choker. Thank you very much, Free Man Day. Maybe someday. In the far future. Probably not. Nah, I'm not digging this. No. Yeah, all right. I think I'm gonna save the algorithm. 30 damage right up front, they say. Hmm. Frail too. Well, <laughs> I think I'm just gonna play this one from out of the graveyard. Yeah, I don't know about that, Iggy. Glorious Day when Math has a meetup 
Strangle us all into an untimely grave. It could be a timely grave. What's the difference? Who who makes you know who decides when time? Huh? <laughs> you ever think of that? <laughs> who decides? Oh, God, man! I wish we weren't stuck on quote sixty nine because I have a feeling that would make that would be a quote. Who decides when time? I know, I know, we're waiting for something appropriate. Um, I mean, I'm already, like, full blocking this bitch, so... I'm not very heavily damaging this bitch, though. Let's change that. The only way for me to generate more frost orbs is to get rid of orbs. Not rotate them, actually get rid of them. That's bullshit. I tell you what. I've been telling a lot of what recently, it seems. E -i -i -i? On the plus side, that's like 60 damage. Oh, he blew through all my baloney. Yeah, more orb slots would be kind of cool. I don't think it's strictly necessary. I did win that fight without taking damage. Static discharge plus. Great increase to damage of wood. Touch the cube. Apotheosis would be pretty good. Pretty good. Pretty good. I might take Flash of Steel. What's our boss? These idiots. I might take two Flashes of Steel. Gotta be careful with doubling it, because if you double it, the second one doesn't do anything. And then you can't gain block for like four turns. <laughs> I mean, that happens like every turn. Once Echo Form's in play. Fucking double panache. Oh. 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 I'm gonna die instantly, just watch. Watch, she she it. Oof. Um. That looks big and stinky and like I hate it. Yeah, that's my uh, diagnosis of the current situation. I'm drinking the thinking. Mm -hmm. Hey, look what I can do. Aha, bitch! Hee hee, bitch! Ho ho, bitch! I didn't get to play a third attack to proc my kunai. Disappointed. Hey. Yeah, you know what? Let's just double that one. I want to hologram something. Yeah, we... Disappointed was already used. Earlier. It's such a good one, though. Ah, 10 damage. 10 damage really isn't that much. Although, I guess if you can keep doing it, it's uh, kind of a lot. 9 plus 9 plus 9. Yeah, it's 27. Ooh. You just wanted to make sure Chet knew? Oh, hey. Big boy move. Let's, uh, put an end to that. 24, 20, 33, 43, plus 9. I don't even need to play the chill, bitch. I'm always chill. Beh. I haven't even played a bias cog yet. Just gonna, like, draw cards. Just gonna scale. Aha, take one. Hey, well, Blair Cho, how's it going? Mm hmm. I'm 
like mega blocking. Cool. Die. He's got 10 health left. We're good. Yeah. I'll try very hard. Hmm. 45 damage. That's cute. Just need to make sure I'm blocking these burns. Yeah, I think I got it. Oh, my body. Ha! Ah, rawr. Mm -hmm. A little bit underwhelmed by a rare relic so far. I got the duplicate of a common relic and stone calendar. I think we're going to take cold snap. Because frost orbs and kunai. I get one more bonfire. It's gotta be defrag. What's the panache upgrade to? 14? I don't think that's strictly necessary. These bias cogs have become like less and less necessary as I've gotten further and further up the spire. Okay, so I need panache. Hmm. No. That's not Panache. Honestly, it's not a terrible turn one. Uh, fuck, that's like 24 damage. I think I'm taking a bit of damage here. Yep. Yep, definitely definitely being harmed. Yes. 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 This is also sucking a lot. That's not that bad. Three damage. I don't have echo form up. I have echo form up. Okie dokie. I think there's still a defrag in here. Yeah, baby. Now we got some power. Probably should have played the zap first, huh? I think I'm still taking a little bit. Yep. Right, static discharge. Okay, that means this shit's about to go nuts. Not that I need the 13 block. Cool. Double this one. Hello. Hello. No! The bone! What did I get out of the other chests? It was like dude all in data disk. Okay, so now we nap, because that's a lot of nap. I mean, we got the Regal Pillow. You don't really need both. One of them's fine. I've got a bunch of money. Was it the Vajra? Okay. Yeah, the Vajra's worth taking. Oh my god. There's some- Oh! 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 Hmm. 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 I mean, Runic Capacity is pretty good. We've got two Defrag Pluses and an Echo Form. Not counting the Bias Cogs. That's like eight focus. I mean, Incense Burner, if you're playing well, super good. Yeah, no, I, I agree. I think, I think of these three, Pantograph is the least necessary. I can't afford any two relics. I think it's... I think Runic Capacitor and Self Repair is probably better than Incense Burner. Time to do some Math of Magics. And I don't think I need to card remove, right? Yeah, because my, trans my transform was really good. Gave me a defrag and a buffer instead of two strikes. It's like, yeah, no, I'll keep those. 
So 169 plus 34 plus 64, 267. What do I want to buy first? I'm going to buy the self-repair first. Because I have a courier, so it's going to get replaced. Okay. Well, we're not buying the boot. Yeah, it's a good shop. Big fan. Oh, you tempt me. Oh, you tempt me, video game. <laughs> Absolutely denied the boot. What could I get? Well, I can't get Incense Burner. I can get Tori. Tori would actually be pretty good against the heart, considering the Static Discharge Plus. How many times do you need to see the ads, Iggy? I'm sorry. I can't- I can't- I am powerless to stop it. You can shake your fist at, uh, at Twitch. You can- you can yell, you can put on makeup and look like, um, Kevin Sorbo. Evil Kevin Sorbo, and yell disappointed at the sky when you find out that this isn't your world. Ten times. I've got a genetic algorithm. Buffer. Thank you very much, Levi. A Nash. I think I'm gonna go for it. I've got a steroid pot with no real great use for it. Oh boy, this is uh hmm. I'm gonna have three orbs. So seven plus nine is sixteen. Sixteen plus six is twenty-two. That's already full block. I think I'm just gonna, like, do this. Just try to go insane as fast as humanly possible. Mm. This is not going as fast as I would have liked. Two biased cogs. Oh, yeah, that would be a lot of barrage damage. If only I could draw something fucking useful. Well, I got a lightning orb. That'll do something until it doesn't. Echo form. This, car this deck has no card draw. I think that might be a problem. Hmm. Oh shit, he hit me. I lied, I've got a cool headed plus. <laughs> Could get calipers, you're completely right. I'm dying. Oh, this is bad. No, I re oh mmm, I really needed that to hit this guy. Oh yikes. F are you fucking? Six times eight. It's only like 48 damage. I just need to- I'm just killing this guy now. Ah, fuck! Oh, this was bad. This was a bad one. Okay, Thread Needle's pretty good. Um, so I think the major problem was the fact that Echo Form was on the bottom of the deck. I think that probably made me suffer a lot. I could have come out of that fight with more health, not less. I have to fight a super elite now, so that's fun. I don't get to nap, so that's fun. Fun, 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 fun. Okay, regenerating giant head is like whatever. I just need, um, Echo Form to not be ass deep in the deck. Drawing every power that I want to double before the card that doubles them. 
fucking majestic. Okay. In a pretty good spot right now. I played both the defrags. Okay, I want to double this self repair. Should have enough time. I just blocked for 71 right there. Um, you know what? No. I'm gonna just block this turn. Suck my narts. Sark my narts. One, two, three, four, five. What is that? 35, 45, 48. Larger numbers? Cool. Perfect. 52. Some calendars about to do some business. Okay. I would rather double this one. Give me maximum power. Cool. Perfect. Oh, baby. One, two, three, four. Uh, what is that? That's only like 36. 36, 46, 54, 59. It's fine, he's about to be dead. Okay, this was good. Gained 14 health back. And we got a thread needle out of the hole. Ooh, hello. Is this deck good enough? Fuck, I really I kinda wish I could remove these flashes of steel now. Now that I've got because the whole thing is like, well, I don't have enough frost orbs. So, I need to start putting in things that'll proc kunai. And then I got a bunch of frost orbs. Yeah, I'm aware of the creative AI. Uh, creative AI just like gums. Gums the works. I don't have the mummified hand and the calipers like I did last night to just like go truly insane. But I do have self repair, which I did not have last night. What do we do if we're fighting Awakened One? I put five powers in play. It goes to 12 strength. Right? Because he gains two strength and he starts at two. That means his times four tech would be, I believe, 18 times four. How much damage is that? 40. Eight times four is 32. That would be 72 damage. I have nine focus. Each frost orb. Blocking for 11. Six. That's enough for 70 block with the thread needle. How much damage did I say you would be doing? 72? Yeah, 40 plus 32. Yeah, okay. That would just mean I'd need literally two block every turn. It'd also mean not playing the other powers, including Panache. Hmm, Panache is where my AoE's at. And then I'd also be gaining Kunai procs. Hmm, I guess Sunder with Echo Form is pretty good against the birds. And then Barrage would also do a lot of damage. How does this deck beat the heart? 
Probably not quickly enough. Hello? I don't think I want anything. Doom and Gloom's not terrible. Okay! This time, we recall. We obtained the ruby key. The final- wait, are these ruby, sapphire, and emerald keys? Holy shit. Shit. I never even noticed! And then you just need diamond, and then you've got the four gems- four original gems from RuneScape. Mmm! That'll be the fourth character. There's gonna be a fourth key. Lord knows how you acquire it. Maybe you have to buy- Oh, wouldn't that suck? Wouldn't that suck? If they had, like, this extra little uh, relic slot in the shop. And there was like a hundred, you had to spend a hundred gold to get the fucking key. The fourth key piece. They made it even harder. That would, uh... Blow some kind of monkey chunks. I reckon. I'm gonna take some damage. Yeehaw. I'm all... No, oh, maybe I shouldn't have done that. Oh shit, I'm actually not taking damage. Red Needle's a boss. Do I need to double both of these? I mean, it would be cool, but... Beggars can't be choosers. Well, goodbye, Dark Orb. Oh, baby. One, two, three, four... Yeah, that's enough. <laughs> I love- I love the rapid squish animation on Donu when you hit him a bunch. I think I'm gonna keep these orbs as they are. This fight might actually end fairly quickly. I'm gonna just do that. That's a whole lot of blocking. I wanna try to proc Kunai if I can. Hello. Save the chill for later. Man, that, uh... Those lightning orbs are really, really quite hitting the wrong target. I have a single buffer stack. This is 36, 39. That's enough block right there. There's nothing in my discard. Hmm. 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 Okay, I need to be careful here. I don't want to accidentally end this fight before I get the double. Ooh. Yeah, Electrodynamics could definitely accidentally end this fight before the double. Probably just get this out of here. Ooh. Okay, well that's done. Once I kill Donu, I should be fine. I just want to, like, double Melter. It's hitting me for 48. No, hold up. Let's do this. Perfect. There we go. Dies all on his own. Okay, so now I just need to get rid of this Lightning Orb. I don't... I've done the double Echo Form thing with, uh... Velvet Choker before, I don't think it's what I want to do here. This is 45? Plus 3, I'm already full blocking. I am already full blocking. Alright, I'll double the creative AI then. Get some extra energy for next turn. Okay. Wow. You know what? Okay, I'll do this, because that way, if I pull... Fuck. I was gonna say, if I pull the, um... I can draw into self-repair now and still double it. Lord almighty. If I ever would draw it. Um, okay, so I actually need to not... 
If I'd played the cool headed to try to draw into it, that would have been the third card, and so I wouldn't have actually gotten it. Is it really on the fucking bottom? <laughs> There. Okay, should be good. I'm just I'm just sitting here in my my fortress of what is that? Like 142 block. Thank you, Jesus. Okay, now I need to go dig for the one lightning orb that's in this whole deck. Hmm. Yep. Did not get to play the melter. There are too many powers. I'm generating like four a turn. Yeah, I am. Oh, here we go. This is how you win the fight. In 14 health back, thank you. Time Eater, okay. Um, This could also be a rough fight. I think I'm just gonna play buffer. And say go. Him making me vulnerable is not cool. Uh, can I full block this? 42, 40, yes. Yes, I can. Good turn two, I like it. I'm gonna double panache. <laughs> And then I'm going to stop. Twenty eight, twenty eight, thirty five, thirty nine. I'll just stop there. Okay, so uses up the buffer stack. That's fine. Already full blocking. Okay. I wanted to get that defrag plus doubled anyway, so. Already full blocking here. Okay, and now we just outscale time eater for the rest of the fight. Maybe? That's a lot of bias cogs. <laughs> Marty at fifty-eight block. It's gonna stop there. No reason to let him keep up with me in scaling. I can just keep playing powers and you know, keeping him down low, then that's what I'll do. Yeah, that's 58. Got two buffer stacks. Here we go, baby. So now I'm looking for loops. And defrags mostly. Hello. Oh wait. Nah, nah, nah. Double that one. Okay. Now I'm gonna start hitting them. I mean, I could just I could just hit E for the rest of the fight, and like this is over. I think at this point, is double loop better? Hold up. I have ten orb slots. Means I get 20 focuses worth? 20, like, numbers worth? Whereas if I double loop, I get either 26 or 28. Yeah, so the double loop is more valuable. Play three more cards.
Okie dokie. <laughs> cool. I'm just gonna stop there and let him- he's just gonna heal himself. Unless I get a storm or something and then I just- oh shit. Hold up. Let me do the actual math here. One orb. Two orb, three orb, four orb. No! So I have two storms. One orb, three orb, five orb, seven orb. Seven orb. Seven? What's seven times 27? That's a larger number than that. Time! To die! Yeah. Got him. Full health! The year 2022. That's how much damage we did. Hey, month, month. How's it going? Yeah, if you're in a fight where you can actually play creative AI and use it, uh, it, it just wins you the fight. I think I'm upgrading Echo Form because in the event that I draw it and somehow can't play it like an idiot. What about Buffer? Oh, Buffer might be a better one. I just have to be careful and pay attention with Echo Form. Yeah, I'm going to upgrade the Buffer. 99 gold in the dream. I think I like draw pot better than steroid. Then again, barrage. If we double, Jesus, how much damage is that? <sighs> it's like 260 damage if I've got 10 orb slots and I double it. I don't think upgrade AI is the largest payoff. I think, um, potentially stopping the heart from hitting me for like 67 damage. <laughs> I think that's a pretty big payoff. I don't need, I'm not super worried about this costing three. I'm more worried about the potential of either losing echo form forever or just dying outright during the first couple turns. Well, no, 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 no. Oh, I see what you mean. Well, I have a hologram. I do have a hologram. One hologram, but a hologram nonetheless. I can potentially fish it back out if it were upgraded. Okay, so Flex Potion could kill a dude. You know what? I think I've convinced myself. Even with six orb slots, um, if I've got them all full, it's like 60... It's like 78 damage. That's a lot of damage for... The, uh, Spire Idiots. So wait, am I, like, trying to buy anything else? I am one gold short of a card remove. At this point, I'd probably remove one of these Flash of Steels. Definitely keeping the Focus Potion. Focus Potion's huge. Nothing else here excites me in any way. I'd like to buy that Lantern, but, oh well. Well, could I draw this next turn, maybe? That would be cool. I may as well just fucking play it now and not take damage. Okay, this turn's gonna suck. Maybe I should have drawn the draw pot. This would have been a really good turn for a draw potion. Oh, the doobly-doo. Wait, what did I say? Six... Times 13. With 78? It's double that with Echo Form, but I mean, Echo Form's already out of the picture. Thirty-five, forty-two, forty-two 42, 42 plus 4, 46? 
Taking 61. I promise this big fucking shield. Yeah. I think I'm just blocking instead. He hit my focus. Oh, and I'm also losing. F oh, no. Oh, no. What is bad? What is real bad? Um, I sure wish there was like damage in this hand. Ah, pretty bad eyes all the way on the bottom. It's possible I should have doubled the buffer. <laughs> Okay, well, the Lightning Orb's been pretty handy. He's about to hit me for more damage than last time. Fuck. Hold up. Someone's gonna die. <laughs> Don't know if it's me. Don't know if it's you. That's gonna kill somebody. Well, this is about to hurt everybody. Okay, he hit my strength. Jesus. Alright, never mind. In a bunch of block and didn't fucking use it. God, this plan really is not coming together, like, at all. Yes! Give me the block! Yes, give me the block. Die! One of you die! I've already got the double thingy, so now it's just like, fuck it. Kill them. Kill them all! Engage in hostile activities! I don't want these. Cool, thanks. Don't have the pantograph. Alright, it's big boy time! Uh, Panash. Cool! Great turn one. Yeah, I'm starting to think I should have grabbed that draw pot. Three times fifteen, eh? Three times fifteen, eh? Uh. 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 Yikes. Well, this is gonna suck. <laughs> Buy thread needle. Shit! Oh, why don't you go on the bottom of the fucking deck when I've got a bunch of shit to use you with? And then I can double you. <laughs> hey! Oh, we saw both our bias cogs on turn one, didn't we? Fuck. I was gonna say, there's there's still bias cogs in the deck. We can still win this. Wow, yeah, that's, uh, no genetic algorithm, no buffer. Yeah, you're not wrong, month month. That's uh That's a big oof. This big oof. There's um Yeah, I don't see what I could have done there other than just like hail marrying bias cog on turn 1. But like that's with hindsight. I think that's on average probably the wrong decision and I'm not sure that still would have gotten me to win the fight. Well, that's a the bummer. Bitch, the bitch, the bitch. Even as the stone of the fruit must break that its heart may stand in the sun. So must you know pain. And could you keep your heart in wonder at the daily miracles of your life? Your pain would not seem less wondrous than your joy, Khalil Gibran. Thank you very much, Jenner Thing. And then I died. Like, there were solutions in the deck. Like I said, the buffer? Buffer plus? Buffer plus would have been great, because that would have been the exact situation where buffer plus... Well, potentially the exact situation where I would have wanted buffer plus. Um... Because if he did big attack, then buff, then big attack again? Because he doesn't always do the big attack and the times 15 attack in the same order. 
then the buffer plus upgrade would have been huge. Well, not not tonight. I'm sure I'll do it sooner or later, though. What am I telling you? Uh-huh. One of these days. I almost did it yesterday. If not for my own flagrant stupidity, I would have definitely done it yesterday. Alrighty, well, unfortunately, it's another early sleepy night for me. So, unfortunately, it is that time once again. If you liked what you saw, feel free to follow both here on Twitch, as well as the various social media and video hosting platforms linked down below. Next stream is tomorrow night from 1am to 3am Pacific Standard Time. If you don't know what time that is in your time zone, that is approximately 22 hours from right now. At that time, we'll be continuing our never-ending quest to Slay the Spire. You can check out previous episodes of both Slay the Spire as well as other games I've streamed in the past at both YouTube and BitChute linked down below. And feel free to join the community Discord, which is also linked down below. We're going to raid somebody, so feel free to stick around for that. Whether you do or not, thank you for joining me, and have a good night.